Did we win? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to War Tile, a strategy combat game, real-time elements, card-based elements. Uh, I have 10 currency, I believe they're called runes, in the, uh, the bottom part of the screen there, and Every soldier that I'm moving has an ability as well, which is what is popping up next to my hand of cards there. I have a couple of healing spell and a couple of world buffs, but first I'm gonna grab this gold because, you know, gold probably is good for some things. Upgrading characters and whatnot. Right now this game is in a very, very early alpha, so this is the first look. Um, and it does also on Kickstarter currently, so definitely take a look at that if this is something that you are looking to support. I think it is freaking awesome, gorgeously done, and uh, I played a lot of Warhammer in my in my younger days. A, a beast man set is what I ran. But yeah, we nailed that guy, swarmed him good with three guys, and uh, the spearman actually doesn't have to be all the way up close <clears throat> if he's like diagonal. Um, he can still attack people, not directly behind them, but diagonal. He can poke. Poke through your two uh, sword and board guys, or your berserker, if that's the case. I would really like to see some more units and things like that, but what we have here for a base is uh, extremely, extremely engaging. I love the spells. Um, you kind of have to hoard your runes, <laughs> because if you blow them too quick, like, oh, this guy's kind of hurt, um, you're not going to make it through. You need to be able to manage your runes effectively and my berserker stopping everybody up on the bridge here so this is not good get that spearman up get that sword and board go 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 a berserk is just so slow he only has uh two movement speed instead of three but that really does make the difference my goodness click on that uh barricade to tear it down and actually my spearman's got a little heat which i don't like so, uh, yeah, we're also taking some archer fire, so shield wall, I don't think that, <laughs> I shield walled on the guy that was taking fire, though, so that was, uh, a massive misplay on my part. That is one of the things that makes the real time, uh, a bit more engaging, but it, it's also a little bit unfortunate because the combat still is, uh, a bit slow. You know, you need to move your guys to that archer tower before he tears your dudes up too bad. But, um, as far as, uh, RTSs go, the action is extremely slow. So I think if it was dialed back and just kind of accepted its turn-based nature, it would be greatly benefited by that. We did take the guard tower. Um, I hit the icon up there that allowed me to get some more runes. So now we got 15. I got some dudes that are hurting, uh, we got some guys that are coming this way, so I'll set my spearman up between my, uh, my broskies, my sword and board bros, and, uh, hopefully we'll just be able to tear those dudes up. I don't think anybody else is coming just yet. You gotta get kinda close to aggro them, which is nice. <laughs> they don't just come charging down the hill at you and try to kill you. Although, that would be nice for, like, a hard difficulty, you know? Give no quarter or something like that. So yeah, we'll get the Berserker in there, tore that guy up really hard with the Spearman, and uh, the Spearman cannot attack here because he is directly behind the guy with the, the axe and the shield. So quite an interesting dynamic. I think Spearman can also attack things that are like a couple of tiles higher than um, you are currently, which is really, really interesting. I'd love to see some more units, what they have right now is relatively cohesive. Um, I feel like there needs to be a bit more, um, you know, what's strong against what, because everything kind of seems to work against everything at the moment, which uh, takes away from some of the strategy. There's an ambush over here because I did get wrecked by it before. Um, currently there's the coast and the hills, and I decided to play the coast map for this video because it's... Um, a bit flatter, a bit as easier to see everything. Um, with the hills, you really get good practice on uh, wiggling your camera around. Oh, another problem that I had was uh, clicking to move all my dudes, as well as like clicking and dragging to move the world. If uh, WASD was just bound to move the camera around, that would be extremely helpful. 
Um, but yeah, early alpha. I want to throw so much money at this. I'll probably throw like 10 or 15 Dayton dollars because that's really all I can afford uh, after buying Stardew Valley. Oh my god! <laughs> but um, yeah, we just gotta loot this monastery, which doesn't seem like a nice thing to do, but uh, the game told me to. It's the thing on the objective list. Uh, objective list. I can't even talk. I get so excited. Uh, break down this obstacle. I do probably have to take a couple of hits. Yeah, we're gonna need to break down more obstacles, I think. So we could get our guys flooded in there. I think the spearmen can attack from there. But this guy needs to come in. Yeah, just a little more. And Berserky, you come right here. And actually, Berserky is not getting any action. So if we move the one of the sword and board bros. Oh, that guy's going down anyways. Yeah. We can get this guy. I'm not sure how the, uh... I assume they do more damage when they are being flanked or getting attacked from the back. Um... Yeah, that guy definitely just got walloped. Woo! But it is hard to quantify without, um damage popping up. I'd really like to see like a little damage counter maybe. And I'll send that guy to get the chest. We're gonna head into the monastery and okay we got a knight. We've got a knight! I'm still gonna get this guy to get the chest. It's gonna be fine. We still got all our guys and uh, enough to pull one more healing spell out of our hat. So yes, do it up! This game is super super awesome. I want to see so many more classes, so many more races, so many more maps. There's uh, currently multiplayer, online multiplayer on the uh, press version. So it's kind of hard to find a match, kind of hard to set it up because it's in an alpha stage. But oh my god, the the, the ramifications here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I, I don't know. This brings me back to childhood. It's something that I really, really love. And I hope you guys will love it too. Give it some love on Kickstarter, definitely, because it's, it's a game that definitely deserves it. I've seen some some real weird things get through Kickstarter, and uh, this is a working prototype, and why not um, throw a little money at it? It's something that hasn't been abandoned thusly. <laughs> uh, I guess we gotta move in there and get that chest. Get that chest in there. And I really like the tiles. Just kind of warp inside the buildings or up the watchtowers. Hooray! We win! Right? Did we win? Yeah, we won! <laughs> so friends, this has been War Tile. I hope you'll check out the Kickstarter link in the description. Uh, this is only a first look, but if it comes to a full release, I would definitely love to do a review for you guys. So. I've been Brandon Dayton, friends, your humble narrator. I hope that you will join us for the next time, friends. And until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.